Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. Welcome all to the Sheen Shots channel, the one-stop shop for all your outward content. Have you ever seen this in Caldera, what seems to be a cage of powerful wind protecting some sort of bow? It is actually a type of magic security system that can be shut down. Take a look all the way across the water there and you will see a green flame. There's a button you can press over by that flame that will shut down this wind barricade. Simply start by the Primal Ritualist's hut, which is near the Cabal Wind Pillar. Go left from the pillar and you will end up walking into the Tower of Regrets. Walk straight all the way through this cave until you reach the other side. Back out in Caldera, you will find this button on top of the cliff. Pressing it will cause the flame and barricade to shut down. Now you can head back to the now accessible bow. Simply head to the right of the Cabal Wind Pillar now and run until you reach the far side of this mostly empty piece of land. Here you will find the Ceremonial Bow, which does quite a bit of damage for a bow. But wait, there's more. Remember that awesome Pearlbird mask that you were super lucky to get? Well, go ahead and combine this bow with the Pearlbird mask in the crafting section of your inventory. You now have Murmur, an extremely unique bow and outward that does great damage while looking very stylish. Murmur itself does 55 damage as well as 16 impact. It reduces the cost of your stamina by 15%, which is great since a bow takes a buttload of stamina to wield. The sad thing about this bow is that it also reduces your physical resistance by 15%. This means getting hit by melee attacks will get you killed more quickly than before. Most of the unique items added into Outward with the addition of the Three Brothers DLC have what I like to call a curse on them. They all have cool and powerful abilities, but those do come at a cost. This will not affect bow users too much since you will be looking to attack from a distance anyway and getting within melee range is already your worst nightmare. I played with this bow while using a ton of barrier and I have to say it was awesome because most elemental attacks are long ranged and those do very little damage to you when equipped with barrier. Let's talk about the fact that this weapon was locked up though. Its description states the inside wind is above all. The inside wind is within all. To corrupt or destroy it is the greatest evil. This entire setup was obviously rigged by the cabal of wind way before our time. This is the powerful group of mages and warriors that used to be the primary faith in Outward's world, Ari. These are the guys that tried to kill Elat and unintentionally killed half the world and themselves with the Scourge. Also turning Elat into a god, which was the opposite of the plan there, so way to go guys. They obviously recognize the potential danger in this bow though, and it's possible the bow itself is a callback to the worst mistake the Cabal of Wind ever made with their immense power, the Scourge. Whether you choose to free this bow or keep it locked up, it will still be one of the best bows in Outward. It does more physical damage than the Sar bow. Sar weapons are known for their physical damage, so this bow really is something. Head over to Caldera and grab this weapon. Pearl bird masks are hard to come by, but if you happen to kill enough of these birds and finally get the mask, you can combine the two items for a really cool, unique weapon. Thanks for watching the video, guys. As always, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.